Hey, Coach Rob here at Rob's Fight Club. Um, today we're going to be going over some flow drills utilizing some of your defense. So flow drill is just a good way to kind of get comfortable with your punches or with your blocks and your defense. Kind of putting it together uh, nice and smooth. You want it to like flow. So um, you want it to be smooth. You want to get just comfortable putting it all together, feel really good about it. Um, it'll help you when you start to get into your sparring so it becomes a little bit more automatic, a little more natural. Um, what we're going to do is work on the defense today. We do another flow drill where we're throwing punches to get just more comfortable with all the different punches. This one's going to be with a lot of your defense. So we're going to do get in a nice boxing stance. The first thing we're going to do um, is just work on doing our slips. So we're going to slip to the left and slip to the right. And then we're going to work our bob and our weave. So you're going to bob underneath and then come back. The next one we're going to do is going to be our block. So we're going to block up high. So like we're blocking a hook, we're going to block the other side. We're going to block the body with a slight turn in, keeping that elbow in and then block the body on the other side. Next, we're going to do a parry. So we're going to parry the punch that's coming at us. Now we're blocking those straight shots. We're gonna parry the right hand that's coming at us. We're gonna use our arm to parry a body shot. And we're gonna use our opposite arm to parry maybe that cross that's coming at our body. All right, so that's a good way just to kind of get started and you kind of put it together um, nice and smooth. So slip and slip and roll and roll and block, 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 block and parry, parry, parry and parry. All right, and you can do these faster to get a good workout. So if you do it as like a warm up, you're gonna reinforce those defenses. You're gonna get your heart rate up. So instead of just throwing punches all the time, you're working on your defense, which is half of your boxing game, right? So we could add to this too. So we do our slip, we do our slip, we do our roll, we do our roll. We go block, 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 parry, 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 and parry. We can drop underneath. We can do a high guard or like a double arm block, kind of like a shell position, all right? We can work on a um, cross block, a little more advanced block there. We can step back and do a pull, uh, pull counter. Um, lots of other stuff we can add in there. I usually do about 16 different ones just to get nice and comfortable. Um, put them all together, slip and slip, and roll and roll, block and block, block and block and parry and parry and parry and parry and drop underneath a uh, double arm block pull back cross block and that should cover most of them there so um you can practice those just get comfortable have your defense ready whatever comes at you you'll know you have something to block um some way of stopping or avoiding that attack that's coming at you all right, just remember when you're doing parries, you're blocking those straight shots. And when you're doing your blocks, you're blocking those um, hooks that are coming at you. So when you're blocking the hooks, they're coming to the outside of your hand. And when you're doing your parries, you're catching those straight shots and moving them off to the side. When you're doing a parry, make sure you're not uh, bending at your, or extending at your elbow. Make sure it's just a little turn of your shoulder and kind of like a little, swat the fly a little kind of karate chop there okay um the pull counter is a little more advanced but that's just a back foot stepping back and then when you're doing a cross block you're using that back hand to cover what your front hand may have missed so maybe you threw a, a jab out brought that hand too low the guy comes over the top you got that right hand there to cover and i usually practice that one out of a shell position when i do it all right so i hope that uh it gives you a nice fun defense drill that you can work on put them all together make them smooth have some fun get the heart rate up do it a little bit when you're shadow boxing and um, you'll find that you'll uh, keep getting better at those defenses all right so uh we'll see you on the at the next video make sure you keep working make sure you make your classes um, videos are okay supplemental to your normal training routine but don't just rely on videos by themselves got to get in there you got to get working with partners you got to be in the ring sparring if you want to be a good fighter good boxer good kickboxer whatever it is you're working towards all right i'm coach rob I'll see you next time